these beasts are not built in billion dollar factories, but right in someone's backyard. Built from scratch, this Tesla is a force to be reckoned with, except for the engine of course. This car is a combination of car and motor, okay. so uh, the motorcycle. And wait for it, the doors open up like a Lambo, because if you can't go fast, at least you can look cool getting in. The car has 300 horsepower. Is it faster than your average car? Sure. But is it faster than a supercar? Well, let's just say you're not going to see this thing overtaking a Bugatti anytime soon. But you never know. In the beginning when I started building this car, people didn't understand what I was really trying to do. Some people were even telling me that I'm even going mad. Now, if you're thinking it can drive itself like a Tesla, don't get too excited. This thing needs your full attention behind the wheel because it might end up driving you into extinction. But it's got a radio, so you can at least listen to some music if it breaks down in the middle of nowhere. Finally, a Tesla we can all afford to buy. Also known as the unfinished G-Wagon, the parts are completely unrecognizable. It looks like he's rediscovering technology and ready to jumpstart civilization. But seriously, it looks like a car from Tom and Jerry or something. However, it still moves better than most cars, so it's good. With pieces of wood as the bodywork and rubber bands used in joining the parts, this G-Wagon isn't to be messed with. Not forgetting that he drifts better than most F1 guys too. If you're looking for a supercar experience that's more about vibes than velocity, this crap might be just the perfect fit. Also made from trash, this basket on wheels is considered a phenomenon. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did someone just glue some wheels on a basket and call it a supercar? The car looks like it was hand woven by our great grandmothers. But let's not forget it was a supercar. A full blown electric one as a matter of fact. Emmanuel says that it only took him three years, which is impressive, considering that it probably took you longer to decide on which Netflix show to watch last night, right? Now, let's talk about the speed. You're probably thinking, is this thing going to blow the doors off the competition? Spoiler alert, it won't. You'll be lucky if you can catch up to someone walking their dog in this thing. But hey, there's some positives too. This bad boy is electric. So if you're looking for a car that's eco-friendly and can comfortably keep pace with a snail, this basket car might just be for you. When you hear about supercars, you probably think of shiny Lambos or roaring Ferraris tearing up the streets of Monaco. Well, buckle up, because you are taking a sharp detour from the luxury lens. The name of my car is uh, Michael 241 and it's a sports car. With a name that makes you think it's a high performance Italian beast, like the Lamborghini 350 GT. Well, brace yourself, because this ain't that. Built in Nigeria by Michael, this beast is a sensation. Now, before you start imagining sleek calves and roaring engines, let me remind you, this is a Nigerian creation and it took Michael a whole four years to put up together. When I was young, I said to myself, the first car I'm going to use would be made by me. And that's just for building a car that looks like it might fall apart in the driveway. When asked why he copied the Lamborghini, he said that it's the Lamborghini that copied him and not the other way around. The problem is, it looks like he missed a few lessons in how to make a car move fast. Because this thing could probably be outpaced by your grandma's old Honda Civic. And the hood? Oh boy. It opens up like someone's trying to cover up a crater. But let's be real, don't expect any high speed chases with this car. 
Now, while it might not be winning any races against Lambos, Ferraris, or even that guy on a skateboard, it's probably good enough to get you from point A to B and probably get you some nice chicks here and there. Alright, so finally, we've got something that actually looks like a supercar. Our protagonist dreamt of owning a Bugatti, but it being too expensive, he decided to go with plan B, to build one from scratch. Introducing the Rabbit Supercar. Now, don't let the name fool you. This is Nigeria's first carbon fiber sports car, complete with doors that open like wings. Because what's more supercar than those that open like you're about to fly away? It gets interesting because the design behind this beauty is a rabbit. Apparently, they thought what's fast, agile, and totally capable of inspiring a supercar if it's not a rabbit. So they made rear wheels, wide and bulky, just like a rabbit's feet. Because who doesn't want their supercar to hop around like Bugs Bunny on a sugar rush? The mastermind behind this creation, Jerry, studied automotive engineering and apparently spent all his free time dreaming about cars and rabbits, I guess. While the rabbit supercar might not beat a Bugatti in a race, at least he can take pictures with it and proudly say he owns a car. Our next mini tanker might be considered as Africa's smallest electric car. I don't know if I'm wrong, but the car looks like it's being powered by a fan motor. Surprisingly, it moves. It's still better than nothing because you can carry it on your back when it's time to run. Watch out Elon Musk, Kessler is coming. Also, don't forget that it has autopilot. It's just that it only works best at night and mostly during the full moon. Although these creations may not win any prize, they sure win points for creativity, passion, and pure imagination. So the next time you see someone bragging about their Ferrari or Lambo, just tell them. But have you seen the unfinished G-Wagon? <laughs>